This week on Report on Conditions, we'll cover a vegetation fire in Harupa Valley, a skydiver caught in power lines, and visit the Ben Clark Training Center. Welcome to this week's edition of CAL FIRE, Riverside County Fire Department's Report on Conditions. I'm April Newman. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when we upload new episodes and other exciting stories. Here's a recap of the last two week's statistics. CAL FIRE, Riverside County Fire Department dispatchers and firefighters answered the call to 6,853 incidents. Of these incidents, 747 were fire calls in 5,744 for medical emergencies. For this episode's incident review, we'll be covering the past two weeks due to the Memorial Day holiday. Our first incident was a vegetation fire that occurred shortly after 11 a.m. on Monday, May 24th in the Santa Ana River Bottom, ordering the city of Harupa Valley and the city of Riverside. An orchestrated ground and air response from over seven regional fire departments battled the stubborn fire that forced the evacuation of over 5,000 residents. The fire was declared 100% contained to 115 acres on Thursday, May 27th. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Our next incident takes us to Palm Desert, where also on the afternoon of Monday, May 24th, a bus caught fire in the Home Depot parking lot. You'll see in this video clip how intensely the fire was burning, which drew a large crowd. Riverside County Sheriff's Office was requested to assist with traffic and crowd control as firefighters worked to extinguish the fire no injuries were reported. Just before noon on Tuesday, May 25th, dispatchers received multiple reports of a skydiver suspended 30 feet above the ground in power lines. Power was temporarily shut off to the immediate area while the skydiver was rescued from the lines. The patient was transported by ground ambulance to an area hospital for further evaluation of his injuries. Later that afternoon, also on Tuesday, May 25th, a vegetation fire broke out at the 85,900 block of Avenue 64 in Mecca. The first arriving engine company reported about five acres burning in heavy fuels at a moderate rate with immediate threat to nearby homes and high tension power lines. Due to the spread of the fire and shortage of a water source in the area, three air tankers and one air attack were utilized to help extinguish the fire. The incident resulted in burning just over 20 acres. One civilian was evaluated for non-life-threatening injuries and the cause of the fire was undetermined. At 1.07 p.m. on June 1st, Cal Fire and Riverside County firefighters responded to a vegetation fire near the intersection of Winchester Road and Scott Road in the community of Winchester. Upon arrival, it was reported that 8 to 10 acres of light grasses were burning in a northerly direction. A coordinated air and ground attack contained the fire to 28 acres. No injuries were reported. On June 5th, just after 6 p.m., a garage fire was reported via 911 at the 13,000 block of Indian Avenue in Reno Valley. The first arriving company officer reported an attached garage fully involved with extension into a single family residence. Quick and aggressive firefighting by resources on scene had the fire fully controlled in about three hours, displacing three residents. Damages were estimated at approximately $200,000. No injuries to civilians or fire personnel were reported. This week's safety message is about the dangers of fireworks. Riverside County saw record numbers of illegal fireworks reported in 2020. Let's take a look at a video message on fireworks safety and enforcement by Riverside County Fire Chief Bill Weiser. Hello, I'm Riverside County Fire Chief Bill Weiser. Fireworks cause traumatic injuries and even kill. Fireworks start fires that destroy property. They also have emotionally traumatic impacts on veterans that have served our country. Loud noises by fireworks frighten our beloved pets. Last year, fireworks started more than 19,500 fires nationally. Thousands of children are injured each year by illegal fireworks. Any person or persons that cause a wildfire by using fireworks will be held responsible for all fire suppression costs and we'll have fines included up to $5,000. We encourage our residents to take advantage of public fireworks shows throughout the county. To find an event near you, visit rvcfire.org. Ben Clark Training Center is the core of Cal Fire Riverside County Fire Department's Training Bureau. 
where a firefighter's career is built on powerful, productive, and efficient training. We caught up with Battalion Chief Jason Marsh to tell us more. My name is Jason Marsh, I'm the Battalion Chief here at the Ben Clark Training Center for the Riverside County Fire Training Bureau. Here at the Ben Clark Training Center, we have many partnerships with FFA South, Marina Valley College, and Riverside County Fire. We have approximately 25,000 students that come through Ben Clark every year. Riverside County Fire Training Bureau provides a customer service for the firefighter, and what they do is that this is the first place they come when they sign in for the fire department here at Riverside County Fire and Cal Fire, and through the, their career of training, they will go through Ben Clark Training Center. We put on the Firefighter 1 hire, LT Firefighter 2 hire, and a company also orientation class. We also have FFA who's here for seven weeks at a time for the FFA Academy. And we have Marina Valley College, which has two classes a year for 12 weeks out of the year each. We also have Rescue Systems 1 that is sponsored by Riverside County Fire. The Truck Academy, which is a two-week class that's out of the Ben Clark Training Center. We also have Low Angle Rescue, or Rope Rescue, and Trench Rescue, and Confined Space Rescue. Our goal after they leave Ben Clark Training Center is to make sure that they can respond on the fire engine or their assigned unit and that they uh, continue their training th through their career at, with uh, more classes that we put on here and also with the FFA and the COA. In addition to the fire training that you have already seen, Cal Fire Riverside County Fire Department has close to 500 licensed paramedics. Our EMS specialists have been and will continue to be busy over the next few weeks bringing each and every one of our paramedics up to speed with the spring protocol updates from our local EMSA. All of the training that our students receive here at Ben Clark Training Center directly translates into the excellent customer service that we provide to the citizens of Riverside County and the state of California. Our job here at Ben Clark Training Center is to teach the new firefighters the importance of cancer prevention, the cleaning of their personal protective equipment, also known as PPE. Part of that also includes record keeping of deconning and disinfecting their PPE and the importance of exposures reporting and IOPS and the CPF reporting system. We would like to wish the very best to Battalion Chief Mike Smith, who recently retired on June 1st with 30 and a half years of service. Congratulations and thank you for your years of service to the citizens of California. Thank you for your video clips, photos, and great ideas for future episodes. To stay up to date on significant incidents as they happen in Riverside County, be sure to follow at CalFireRRU on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Don't forget to send us your great incident, training, and special event photos and video clips to rrupio at fire.ca.gov. That's a wrap on this week's report on conditions. From your Cal Fire, Riverside County Fire Department, Public Affairs and Community Education Bureau, thanks for watching.